post covid 19 we saw an increase in health insurance queries both from our individual customer segment as well as our SME and MSME segments. Individual customers who did have a health insurance policy are now reviewing their sum insured limits, the coverages that they have. In case of MSME and SME, they too are now inquiring about health insurance. However, the purchase processes have changed. Uh, they are contacting us remotely, they are paying digitally. It is all seamless at this moment from inquiry to policy issuance. So there is a change in the way customers are purchasing policies now. In terms of new products uh, post-COVID, the corporate sector is seeking for insurance due to losses during lockdown. As we, as we all know that the lockdown was sudden and it was a result of a pandemic. Uh, we do not really have a product in India today covering these losses. Yes, uh, we will see a product soon. For individual customers, we do have now standalone products that are covering COVID-19. It is there in the market and any website will give you this information. Recently, IRDA has also come up with standardized wordings for special products for COVID-19. The non-life industry is very well positioned to service their customers digitally. Uh, each one has adopted various digital platforms and advanced technologies to service their clients. The distribution landscape may not change uh, in its entirety. What is changing and will continue to change is the way we contact our customers, the way we are now reaching out to our customers. This process has already begun changing even before COVID-19, but it is enhanced now post the lockdown. And I'm very sure for the future, this will take a new shape altogether. But to say that agents will now no more exist, it will all be a B2C, website driven business is not true completely. Agents will still do business, brokers will still do business, but the way they do business will actually change. General insurance industry has made a great headway in using technology from the court to the policy issuance cycle. Even before COVID-19, most companies had already adopted various technologies, as I mentioned earlier, in servicing customers. Not only was policy issuance uh, done digitally, claims were also being serviced in remotely and digitally, be it the cashless approvals for motor garage or hospitals, uh, be it a complete end-to-end -end digital process for smaller claims, we have been fully geared uh, digitally to service all our customers remotely, be it in any part of India or be it in the city, be it urban customer, be it rural customer. So we have really made headway uh, in servicing. Hence the lockdown did not see too much of a uh, variation in the way claims were being serviced or customers were being serviced. Yes, all our channel partners are ready to deliver uh, digitally. For insurance company, risk management is a very important tool. As you know that uh, our balance sheet is full of risks of all our customers. If our balance sheet is not healthy, then how can we carry on with the risks of all our customers? So how do we keep it healthy? One, we provide adequately for all our risks which have not yet expired. We provide adequately for all claims which have occurred but have not yet reported. We ensure that all our digital assets have a cyber security built in. We make sure all our employees are safe. 
Next, what we take care of is issuing SOPs and advisories to our client how to restart uh, their closed workshops or how to design insurance covers for their employees, how to ensure that even under threats of COVID, they can continue with business. Another thing is very, very important for us is after COVID, we also thought that we could do business seamlessly without even coming to office. So what did it teach us? It actually taught us that we need to review all our business process, keeping in mind the times to come, it will be contactless and maybe we have to do business remotely with the help of technology. So our business process review is always in the offing uh, as a management tool, I would say, to enhance our effectiveness and also promptness to service our customers. Regarding selecting of business, selection of business will now become different from what we saw earlier, especially in the case of MSME and SME clients. Many of them uh, do not practice uh, what we would call certain loss control measures. Uh, where we would support them, we will now have a larger role to play in advising clients how to keep their premises safe, how to ensure hygiene for everyone who's working in the factories and also help them to ensure that in future they do not suffer because they did not have an insurance policy. So these are the various measures that we would take in, I would call it defining our risk management practice, be it within the company and be it for our clients.